welcome back to some trucking diaries we are getting ready to roll out to kansas city uh, supposed to head up actually it was supposed to be over there tomorrow yesterday but uh, we worked it out where i'd go home uh, cj my oldest boy had a uh, conference band concert which is you know that's kind of a an accomplishment you know if you're a musician especially being a kid um, so it's, I guess it's kind of important to go to that <laughs> but uh, made it work out everything's good uh, we're gonna head over there pick up Little Rock then we're gonna come right back over this way and uh, I don't know what we're gonna do yet for the rest of the week I hope this ain't how my day's gonna go. <laughs> We're not even up to 55 yet. We're already backed up, got traffic dead gum jam. <laughs> Man. No wonder Google kept saying better route available. enough drive a truck turn that, that gum radio on have a good working radio uh, trying to get information you know when I got to the traffic I tried getting information on uh, what was going on and nobody answered me I had somebody back behind me asking what was going on and until I got up to see what was going on I couldn't answer them so, I can't stress it. Turn that daggum radio on. Use it like it should. Mud duck, shut up. What's <laughs> uh, the number one reason why nobody turns the radio on? Nobody wants to hear the trash. Okay, shut up, mud duck. Shut up, Cornholio. 221, 221. 221, got down. Sliding out or what? Let's see if we can make it in and out of here without breaking down this time. Looking good so far. Think we might make it. Let them know I'm here. They know it's me when they hear that old. 
train coming. Oh man, there's a truck sitting over here. Yeah, we gotta do this here. past him. Man, it sucked. I was going down the road a while ago and I was just talking to Billy. Took a drink of water and uh, you know, felt like I had water left on my face. So I was going to wipe it. Lips started bleeding again. I don't know. This thing. You see it? This thing right there? I don't know. They think it's, my wife said it's some sort of venous blood vessel or something. I don't know. Pretty much, only thing we can come up with is uh, probably a busted vessel in there or something like that, and the blood's just pulling up right there. And when it gets to a certain point, you know, it pretty much the best solution is to pop it and get it to bleed off, or go get it cauterized. He's gonna do it yesterday and got sidetracked. <laughs> it's all good. We're uh, we're over here at the crane yard where we spent the night a couple weeks ago because we broke down. Waiting to get unloaded. Yeah, one of their trucks in here getting unloaded first. So he was here first. I got waiting line. It's all good, bro. It really is. Hey, let me tell you something. It's getting warm out again. And them old two wheelers, them old motorcycles. They're getting out again. Gotta keep an eye out for them. Gotta watch out for those little guys. They'll pop up. You know, they ride like they got reset buttons. Hey, if you ride a motorcycle, don't ride like you got a reset button. Got it? Okay, we're good. Look at there, an old stainless run. I wonder if that's a hurricane truck. Shiny, 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 shiny. Can't tell. Is it a hurricane? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think I see a hurricane on there. Alright, you guys can see we are loaded. This guy right here is about a, he said close to 24,000 pounds, about 11 to 12 ton rock. And then got another little guy back there but we're ready to go we're gonna hit the hit the old porter john and we're gonna get rolling all right how about it pull it in here yeah 21 minutes on our time 45 minutes left on our work day there you go that means we put in some work today Let's see, 13 hours and 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> Total, not including driving. Let's see, 10 hours and 39 minutes, is that right? I think so. Something like that. Sounds good to me. We'll go with it. Do our walk around. About a foot deep. <laughs> oh. I don't think I want to park over there. I think I'll stay where I'm at. Yeah, pretty sunset. It's always good. So we made it to Wheatland. Lucas Oil Speedway. Lucas Oil Speedway. We ain't racing though. We ain't racing. Yeah, chicken light out. We hey, pulled it out. We're gonna see if we got a replacement. If not, we might run inside and get one. Let's see here, we gotta get to our light box. Which is buried right back there. Look at that covers! Don't fall out, people. Stay in the bag. This side over here kind of gets cluttered up. Come on, box. There it is. Oh, 
see my light box? There it is. <laughs> see what we got in here. Got an old blast head headlight bulb. Got that, got that. Uh, uh, uh. Here's the amber light. Let's see if we got one that matches what was in there. Gave the old man a bunch of these old lights. Mm, do one of these. All right, we got one. Let's fix this old dude up right quick. Oh, nice and good light. See, got my plastic on there. That's good. Let's see, like this right there. So, we uh, are sitting here trying to make a flyer for one of our, our district Pinewood Derby for our Cub Scouts. I started, I was like, what the heck? Daggum little mouse. He was down inside my porta potty area. Made a heck of a mess down here. Ate part of a towel here use these towels to kind of buffer they chewed all the way through that that's that gum quarter way you know through the fold that's pretty good chunk he was making headway starting in on this side um, he's in here in my porta potty area just chewing away I was able to catch the little sucker uh, he ran up under the bunk, got himself cornered, was able to get him with a pair of vice grips. I'd show you images, but they're kind of graphic. But uh, we got a hold of him, got him out of the truck. I don't know where they keep coming from or how they keep getting in the truck. Uh, hadn't, well, that's the second one this year that we've had an issue with. Third one since I've been driving the truck. I don't know where they keep coming from or how they get in, but I don't know. We're going to eat us some dinner and go to bed. Well, we just woke up. The truck's getting pelted with hell. I don't know if you can see it on the hood or not. But Pretty much straight down for getting pelted with hell. A lot of lightning. <laughs> it, it actually looks like I got snow on the hood of the truck. The ground is just about covered. No black truck you can come. I don't know if you can see it on there or not, but. <laughs> We're not gonna leave till this kind of clears out a little bit. That's for sure. The lightning itself is enough to make you not wanna leave because it sucks driving through lightning. There's so much rain happened within the past 10 minutes and the park lot's just running like a river. Well, we're sitting here checking radar. Seems like we 
wait another hour it'll be completely out of the rain but wait another hour is going to put us behind because we have a, another load to go pick up in Redbud. Granted, we're not in a big rush on it. But uh, we're going to go pick it up and it goes up just on the outside of St. Louis. Then I got to turn around and do the same run. Uh, pretty much do the same circle, but I got to try to get it all done before noon tomorrow. So, you know, it's, it's crazy driving through here. From the time this construction zone starts, to all the way to the end, and all of the tire, the uh, ruts and stuff in the median. I mean, there's some that looks like trucks try to divert, you know, it purposely drive across it to get over this side, probably an accident or something over there holding up traffic, but they try to cut across. There's some, a lot of ruts. And I know we haven't had snow in a while, and not all these ruts are from the last time we had snow and ice through here. Some of these are new. <laughs> it's like, how in the world do you guys get up in the morning? A lot of them probably wearing flip-flops, so I can't say, how do you get up in the morning tire shoes? And they're probably still wearing their pajama pants, so I can't say, you know, how do you put your pants on? Look at it. How do you do it? This is a, a nice piece of roadway. You pay just a little bit of attention and you're, you're not going off in there, in there. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know if I made it through the storm or if it got out ahead of me or what's going on here, but we finally kind of got let up this little bit of froggy out. Uh oh, DOT man at the little gas station. Truck. And they're getting his biscuits and gravies. Coffee and donuts. What do you know? Isn't the shop doors closed today? Ain't that so? Well, how about it? the scale I'm gonna make my guess of 80,000 no let's go 79.5 we're at a half tank of fuel with the weight I think he said 23.94 ton I think is what he was estimating so I'm gonna say we we're gonna be 79.500 let's go with that this here scale I said 79.5, that's, that's my weight, I'm sticking to it. Maybe a little heavier actually, because we went, did go through the rain. This stuff is like wood, it'll soak up the rain. You wouldn't think it, but it will. Up on the scale. All right, nice and smooth like. Seventy-nine, five forty. How about it? And we're on our way to Redbud to get loaded. I haven't been this way in a long time. You know, I wonder what the national bird would have been mm -hmm. if the Confederates would have won. But they would get, but they would beat up the North and to kept the bald eagle. Or would they went with the original bird that they considered the, the, the turkey? Who knows? They're still over there, big old wolfy looking dog. Yeah. Our table's ready. <laughs> Back in the door six. Back up. Windows down because we've been driving in the rain. Well, cool out now.
here at our delivery location. They got the red trucks, red trailers. <laughs> Same as the one we did over in Kansas City. Same company, different location. Uh, had to do a little back and forth when we got here because those docks was all full of trucks, but they had to get them into the dock bay over here on the end. <laughs> It's actually a pretty neat location, to tell you the truth. We uh, used to be, actually, at one point it was a major development area. It still is in, in the sense of warehousing and things like that, but um, trying to walk over, maybe get a glimpse of it, but. There used to be a massive mall, like, just right, right through them trees over there. If you just walk in between that building over there, there's a big, big massive mall, but it's completely abandoned. I can't say completely abandoned, I should say. There's still Cabela's in there, but, uh, he used to have everything. Kind of out walking around, my back hurts sitting in the truck, but, uh, I mean, there's warehousing and all that around here, but literally, literally, there used to be restaurants all, all through here. I mean, within a five minute walk, I could be at a restaurant and eat, uh, or the mall, which had restaurants, go-kart tracks, still got Cabela's, they got a skating rink. I forgot what all that actually still got in there but all the restaurants and stores and everything else in the area are gone it's just all these old commercial buildings there's a uh, body shop <laughs> big waste of money i think nascar at one point tried investing in into the go-kart track at the mall but yeah if you look through there you can see the cabela's <laughs> If it was a little bit closer, we'd walk over there and give us something to do. But yeah, big old empty mall. At one point, I think it was one of the largest in the United States. It was the largest in Missouri, but not no more. Old Fireball and Mac sitting there getting wet. Went most of the day without raining and get over here and it started raining again, so darn no luck okay one full lap around the building got my exercise in cold out there it ain't really cold it's raining and the rain's a little chilly you know <laughs> come back here again tomorrow we get to unload go down reload come right back ain't that something so i guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up uh we got go through and do all this big circle again tomorrow we'll get up in the morning kick our tarps off get our steel off then we're gonna turn around and go back down reload come right back here hopefully unload uh, so y'all stay safe out there god bless you and don't go outside without a hard hat on when it's hailing out